Hi guys, welcome back for another review and this time it will be the Masters of the Universe uh, from the Netflix series, the animated series. Alright, and here is Battle Cat. You can see him basically in an open box uh, uh, pre representation. Basically, there's no plastic protecting it. So at the back, you can see the box art Castle Grey Skull on the left. And you have the Netflix logo here. Alright, and and you can see Battle Cat open here, you can touch it. Alright, it says basically uh, Battle Cat right here, the box art, He-Man. And here's the action feature, but it's uh, a bit blocked by the sticker. It's from Mattel. Alright, and at the back here, you do see that uh, he is... Uh, basically has a power feature on both front legs. It says basically pull and release, right? And you have uh, He-Man uh, really uh, represented in the picture with Battle Cat, right? And you, you have, you can see a tiny cross cell right here. Uh, you have He-Man and Skeletor right here. Okay, they are actually available uh, in Toys R Us right now. Okay, it's just released a few days ago, basically this week. Okay. So, uh, let's review Battle Cat. Let me get the cutters and basically get him out of his plastic prison. All right. Right, let's remove him. Alright guys, here is Battle Cat out of the packaging. Alright, and if you look right here, he is basically about 11 inches in length. I do not have a tape measure. And about a bit uh, 10 inches this way, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so this is the new Battle Cat from the Netflix series. You can see his head, or his eyes. Alright, this is the first Battle Cat in the, this new He-Man series, where basically the armor is not removable. Basically, this is molded into uh, the figure itself. The armor here, the face, and also the legs. Alright, just to let you have a look more on the Battle Cat's battle uh, this is basically the much exaggerated uh, he uh, battle cat I have seen. Basically, the design is meant for the for for the young kids. Oh yeah, right here you have his eyes. Okay, nice uh, futuristic look for his battle armor uh, face plate. Right here, his mouth does open, and you do see. A bit of his tongue is a bit paint is painted as well. Just close his uh, face right here. So his mouthpiece. If you look at the mouthpiece, so you can see the uh, basically uh, the teeth. Right. If you do look a bit at uh, the tongue's color, uh, there's a bit of a faint blemish. So it the paint does come off uh, easily. All right, and for his head articulation, you can, uh, he can basically uh, rotate, and it's all basically on the ball joint. All right, and he does look up and down a bit, but he can't look up because of the design is hindered by the harness here. But it's he, he can only look up uh, at this juncture. All right, and if you look at his armor on his uh, side, okay, you do see that this is a much more uh, futuristic look and more wild side of Battle Cat. And here is the uh, top part of the armor where the saddle, I will explain to you how we put him in on later. All right, and here's the back of it. And for his uh, tail, you can articulate up and down. Also, you can bend it a bit right here because you have a, a bit of articulation in this juncture right here. Not much because it's made of a soft plastic. So you can rotate up and, and down 
or even uh, more uh, bend it this way. And for his hands, his front hands, uh, they have a power feature when you pull the hands, it does come down. This way. All right, and uh, for his articulation on his hand, basically this is, you can rotate his, basically his hands this way, and you also can swivel this part at the lower part of the uh, leg. Right, and for the claws, right, this is uh, in the next series, Cringer is the So uh, when he's powered up into Battle Cat, he has this uh, translucent yellow claws to uh, arm himself. And also, if you look at the uh, ankle, basically, uh, this part of uh, Battle Cat, yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty nice. You can see more of a... Uh, warrior-like look to him than the previous incarnations. And for his back, the back legs, you can rotate it this way. You can stretch it all the way back. It does not bend at the ankle, but you can rotate the upper part of uh, the legs right here. And you can basically rotate or swivel the uh, hind legs. Right, and that's all for his articulation for uh, Battle Cat, I mean, for this uh, latest reincarnation. Let's bring in uh, He-Man. All right. So He-Man does have his loincloth in front. So this loincloth, when you actually put him on the saddle, it goes to these two parts here. But not to, not, this should also hold him steady. So you should insert, should insert right here in this leg left and right let's let's try him okay once you insert him just put the loincloth here and this one here and it will hold uh he man in place all right it does hold he man in place this way which is a new way of uh, basically <laughs> making uh, sure that He-Man sits well on this figure. Well, I would say this is a nice representation, nice look to He-Man. Okay, for this new series, so he's basically sat still uh, steadily uh, on his on this battle cat, this version of battle cat right here. Here's a side view. Magnificent. It looks real nice, nicely designed. Okay, here's the back. Okay. All right, and yep, he does not need to hold uh, Battle Cat this way, but however, this is a nice pose. Let me uh, get him to a better pose than this. Right, and basically, this is this has been the review of the. Netflix Battle Cat from the animated series and I would recommend if you want to get him he's available at twice a risk right now right and this is cool boss I think signing off all right before we conclude this review uh, I want to show you more about his articulation so you basically can put him uh, his hands just open this way okay all right, you have a spring-loaded mechanism to it. Instead of just going, how uh, using his claws basically to uh, this feature, he just his hands just just go this way, so he can lower himself a bit. All right, and his tail just rotate. And it goes up and down. I can turn his tail, rotate it and goes down this way instead of the other way. All right and yep this is the bits and pieces I've just found on this battle cat so uh, it's pretty uh, nice to play with.